Hello viewers, you are watching the introduction to our EVMS DC fast charger series. So as you can see, we have the 180 kilowatt dual CCS or can be configurable according to your requirement uh, DC fast charger and the 30 kilowatt DC wall box charger. So in this video, we will introduce the different functionality of the charger and the installation of the charger and how you will integrate the charger to your management platform. Let's go. So firstly, we will introduce you the 180 kilowatt standalone series charger. So the whole charger cabinet is 180 kilowatt, but we are completely modular system charger. So that means you can always increase or decrease the whole power of the charger. I will show you later how, how it's done. So this area, as you can see, this is the gun or connector compartment. This is the connector or the gun holder. And uh, as you can see, uh, this charger is dual CCS2 with a AC type two uh, connector but it can be configured according to your project requirement. If you need one CCS, one Shadow one GBT or uh, SC Type 2 is completely uh, doable. So here is the connector. As you can see, this is a Phoenix uh, contact, which uh, the maximum current is 250 amp. Or we have another brands like uh, goes to 200 amps and we have another chargers which goes to 400 or 300 or 500 amps according to your requirement. Okay. So this is the display compartment. As you can see, we, this is a, like a completely touch display. And uh, this one is the RFID card reader area. So where you swipe the RFID card for uh, initiating the charging session. And here is the emergency uh, power button. So in case of any emergency, when you press the emergency button, the whole system will shut down and stop all the charging session for the emergency. So uh, the air inlet and outlet area is over here. You can see we have the air passages, which uh, the filter is installed inside and also we will provide you uh, the maintenance of the filter like for how long period you have to clean the filter and uh, how long you have to change the filter so this is some of the air, air inlet passage here and here you can also see the outlets and the inlets uh, passage of the vent whole ventilation system so this is the two uh, different maintenance access door of the charger as you can see here so when you open the doors uh, for maintenance purpose, you have access to all the main components of the charger. As you can see, we have installed a, a door alarm switch here. So whenever the door is somehow accidentally gets open during a charging session for safety issue, it will always stop the charging session. So in this area, all the different controllers are installed. So the first one is, uh, I would like to show you the PLC. So uh, one individual PLC for one individual CCS2 connector. So PLC is like mainly uh, integrated with uh, for, for the CCS standard. So two uh, CCS2 and we have two different PLC. And uh, two controllers here, the MCM, we call it microcontroller module and uh, one controller for each individual connector and then goes to the CSU. This is the central system unit, the brain of the charger, which is responsible for all the charging algorithms and storing all the data and uh, communicating with your management platform via OCPP. And uh, this is the controller for the AC as we in this charger, we have the AC type two connector and here are two different auxiliary power, uh, power supply to supply DC 12 volt and 24 volt to different uh, controllers and the router for uh, the internet communication with your management platform it's supplying the internet to the charger so here is the AC power 
uh, input area, the two phase neutral and the ground. This is the main circuit breaker of the charger, the auxiliary uh, circuit breaker, and the SPDs. So here are the power modules installation compartment. As you can see, I have installed five power modules for now, and I have another empty space for installing another power module. So each of the power module are 30 kilowatt. So right now I have 150 kilowatt of the max power. If I add another one, it can go up to 180 kilowatt. So the whole cabinet can go maximum 180 kilowatt. So the advantage of the power module system is if one of the power module, let's say, is broken or have some faults, it won't stop uh, charging. It will just uh, go offline and the remaining power will be uh, at service to charge the cars. So uh, this is the DC bar of the charger. So uh, goes to straight to the output connectors. So the key advantage of our DC bar is you can charge multiple cars at the same time and it has the dynamic load balance function which is uh, the charger can dynamically change the powers between the different output connectors according to the EV car's need. So now uh, this is the 30 kilowatt DC wall box charger as you can see. It takes very little space to install and this uh, kind of charger is very ideal for uh, the place maybe let's say your office area or restaurant or the place where you don't have a lot of space and you still want to have a fast charger right so this uh, little guy is very ideal for that kind of uh, scenario so you can just hang it on the wall and takes very little space you still have all the functionality which we offer in the stand alone charger and still a fast charger with 30 kilowatt so here you can see you have the touch screen display here and uh, the RFID reader area where you swipe the RFID tag or RFID card and here this is the connector holder area right so when you want to charge the car you just there is a lock press firmly here and then it releases the gun then you charge the car when your charging has been finished you will just have to put it in the place and give it a little push. So uh, this is the CCS2 connector. Uh, it can be uh, GBT or Shadamo or CCS1 according to your project requirement. And this one is the Duosita connector. The maximum current is 200 amp, but we can also integrate the Phoenix 250 amp connector according to your requirement. The emergency button is installed over here for any kind of emergency you just push the button and all the charging session will be stopped immediately the air outlet and there is another air inlet over there and another air outlet and inlet under the hood so here is the main user interface of the charger uh, this is the connector type so you can you have to choose the rice corresponded uh, connector to uh, charge your EV so this charger we had like two CCS2 and uh, one is the AC type 2 so connector number one two is the CCS2 and connector number three is AC type 2 and in this section you can see an Wi-Fi icon that means uh, if the Wi-Fi wi icon is white then it's connected to a backend system if it's not connected then it will be red then the date and time information over here and uh, we have some instructions uh, written over here for the customers to choose the right connector and uh, the charger id will be shown here and uh, here in the hotline section you can uh, uh, put your own number you can set your own number from the settings and uh, here on the left you can see the date and time information and here in this section this is the language section you can change the languages instantly so now I will show you how to use our charger to charge your EV so 
I will choose the CCS2 connector first and then plug it to the car. So as you can see, I have already plugged the gun and the connector has been changed to preparing. The status has been changed. So I will just simply click on the connector and then I have already registered the RFID tag to the backend system. So I will just uh, touch the RFID. And then it gives me three different options. So I will choose the charge automatically and then just wait till it starts to charge the car. And the charging has been started already. And uh, as you can see, the SOC of the car will be shown here. This is the SOC information, the charging duration, the charging voltage, the current, the power, and the power consumption, and the remaining time the status is charging and the connector temperature. In case of any emergency uh, during the charging session, you can always push the emergency switch. As you can see, the charger status has been changed to the red one and you can see the charging has been finished. And then Take out the plug and restore the emergency switch by releasing it and turning it to the right direction and release. So now I will end the charging station. So I will just tap on the uh, connector and then I have started the charging station with the RFID, right? So if you start by the RFID, you have to press the RFID again if you started by the password and then you have to uh, write the password again or if you started the charging session from your application which is from the backend system then you uh, end the session from the backend uh, session so i will uh, swipe the rfid again and then it stops charging And it shows you the how much uh, the power consumption, the time, and the last SOC. Then I will tap on the back. Then I will just unplug the gun, and that's how you will uh, charge your car with the EVMS series fast charger. So I have unplugged the uh, connector from the car and put it back to the holder.